Kenny Omega, the AEW World Champion, is coming to Impact Wrestling. The Impact Wrestling AEW partnership has begun. Chris Bay has a huge day on December 12th. A number of Impact Wrestling contracts are set to expire by February 2021. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Just a quick reminder, I have my own YouTube channel now. You can check me out at Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. That's Alliance Pro Wrestling Network on YouTube. Check it out. Lots of great interviews with some legends, some indie stars, lots of great content. So check it out, Alliance Pro Wrestling Network right here on YouTube. So it appears AEW and Impact Wrestling have formed a partnership, and I'm sure everybody knows by now, Don Callis helped Kenny Omega win the AEW Heavyweight Championship by defeating John Moxley. They ran through, they ran out of the arena, they ran to the limo. Don Callis says that they're going to explain their actions. Him and Kenny Omega are going to explain their actions Tuesday night on Access TV on Impact Wrestling. So Kenny Omega coming to Impact Wrestling. The AEW Impact Wrestling partnership has begun. And these are very, 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 very exciting times for Impact Wrestling. They are the absolute buzz again. And they had the Slammiversary buzz with all those signings. Uh, the Good Brothers coming in. And that buzz is back. They lost it for a bit, but that buzz is back now. That buzz is back AEW Impact Wrestling, the war has begun. So I'm very curious to see what to hear what Kenny Omega has to say on Tuesday. And I'm wondering if he's going to actually come down and actually be in an Impact Wrestling ring or if they're going to record it from another location. I'm, I'm sure it's been recorded already because AEW, they're live. Impact Wrestling is taped. So it must have been taped already unless they go live for a few minutes on Tuesday uh, to start the show. But, or or I would say if they go live, they would have to start the show live or, or end the show live or something like that. But we'll see, you know, and I kind of wish that there was a crowd. I mean, I would love to see Kenny Omega walking down into an Impact Wrestling ring in front of a crowd. But unfortunately, it's probably not going to be any crowd there. Um, but nonetheless, Kenny Omega coming to Impact Wrestling with the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. And man, oh man, all you AEW fans out there that have been trolling Impact Wrestling, saying Impact Wrestling's got two months left to go, or another nail in the coffin for Impact Wrestling, or or what channel of you you're eating crow now? Uh, your foot is stuck in your mouth right now, and you're having trouble getting it out. You have a tr <laughs> having trouble getting that big old foot out of your trolling mouth, huh? That's right, because Impact Wrestling, Impact Wrestling is, as we all know, the real deal. And these are exciting times, man. These are exciting times. Um, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just looking at the internet. There's so much, there's so much buzz about this right now. FTR actually getting involved. Now they tweet out. Actually, uh, Dax tweets out the North. And uh, Cash uh, tweets out M uh, Motor City Machine Guns MCMG. Uh, so they're both laying down challenges there to the north of Motor City Machine Guns. Um, Sammy Callahan is teasing a uh, reunion with John Moxley. The Young Bucks. The Young Bucks actually they were quoted saying, "It's still too early. Uh, I, I don't think we all of us collectively collectively knows what this means." I think we're just dipping our toes in right now and we're going to see what we can get out of it. But there are immediate giveaway right now. But my dream, if I had it my way, I just think about the possible dream matches. People are hitting me up like, oh my God, can you imagine if the Young Bucks and the Motor City Machine Guns 10 years later, how could you not jump ahead and fantasize and fantasy book? So the Young Bucks are excited about this. It's... It's, this this is this is incredible, right? This whole thing is just absolutely incredible. How they pull this off, uh, 
And apparently this was in the works for a while. Um, Don Callis, Tony Khan, um, I should say Impact Wrestling, AEW, because there's more than just two people. Um, this has been in, in the works for a while. And I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see where this goes. I can't wait to see where this goes. I could imagine if Kenny Omega doesn't go back to AEW, if he sticks with Impact, John Moxley showing up to Impact Wrestling uh, to hunt down Kenny Omega. I could see some wrestlers from Impact Wrestling ultimately showing up at at AEW Dynamite and maybe taking out a few wrestlers. The, the possibilities are endless right now. The possibilities are endless. This is just just a fantastic time. I am so excited about this. And I, I, I talked about a potential partnership um, a few podcasts ago, and, and here it is. It's, it's, it's come to fruition. It's happening. It's, 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 been, it's, it's the real deal. It's going on right now. And um, this is tremendous, tremendous potential, tremendous potential. I don't know. Just I'm trying to think. I would love to see the North against FTR. I think that would be a, a fantastic match. And where do the Good Brothers fit in all this? Where do the Good Brothers fit in all this? And Ethan Page, you know, Ethan Page is the, the kind of teasing, the subtly teasing that he might be leaving. Say AEW offers him a contract and, and Impact Wrestling offers him a contract. There could be a whole storyline of him having to choose between Impact Wrestling and AEW. So much, man. So much to do. So much can go on here, man. This is great stuff. This is great stuff. I was a little down on Impact Wrestling. And uh, me and me and BQ talk a lot. And I've been down a little bit on Impact Wrestling. Man, I'm sky high again. I am sky high again uh, with Impact Wrestling. And I just... The great stuff. I can't... Like, it's, uh, like I said, I, I can't wait to see uh, where this goes and, and what... What um what we what lies ahead in the in the weeks to come? It's gonna be great stuff, man. This is gonna be, you know, this is this is something WWE wouldn't do. They WWE wouldn't have a an interpromotional rivalry, you know. So that's I I, I give kudos to AEW. You know, they they they're all for it. You know, they want to make wrestling. Well, they say they they say they want to make wrestling professional wrestling uh, more entertaining and more enjoyable and what is more entertaining and more enjoyable than a interpromotional rivalry between two major promotions fantastic man fan just think just just think and I'm not comparing the two but just think if the WWE and the WCW had a interpromotional rivalry back in back in the back in the 90s how awesome would have that been and that's basically what we're getting here Basically, what we're getting here, and everybody's on board, man. Everybody is on board, and then there's, man, man, oh man, this is a uh, this is fantastic stuff, fantastic stuff. The only thing, though, I do want to say is uh, now that um, they're doing this, that this is uh, this is happening. You know, FTR wants the North. I kind of think that maybe, <laughs> maybe Impact Wrestling should not have let the We Nominal one. Swaggle defeat Ethan Page on TV because I'm just like if someone says someone's not familiar with the North, say someone is not familiar with the North, and they they see um, FDR tweet out that they want the North, and they go and oh let's go let's go look um let's go look up the North on 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 Impact's uh, YouTube channel, and they come across the first thing they they see is is uh, the We Nominal One Swaggle defeating Ethan Page, and they're gonna be a little confused. Why? They're gonna be why does FDR wanna wrestle these guys right so i, I kind of wish that 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 didn't happen but nonetheless the north were a great ta great tag team and them against ftr would be um would be absolutely phenomenal them against the young bucks there's a lot of possibilities there lots of a lot of possibilities there and i i i i like i said i wonder where the good brothers are gonna fit in all this because i know they're they're signed to impact wrestling but their buddies are are in um or AEW. So where do their allegiances lie? Do they impact? Are they AEW? Man, so many things. So many things, man. So many things. And this is such. This is just. And I don't want to keep repeat myself. I know sometimes I repeat myself over and over again. And BQ has pointed that out a number of times. But man, I'm excited. I'm excited about this whole thing. Anyway, okay. So let's move on. So December twelfth. December twelfth. Chris Bay has a tremendous, tremendous day for Chris Bay. It could be a fantastic day for Chris Bay or it could be a or it could be a, a not so fantastic day for Chris Bay. One on, on, on December twelfth, 
one for Impact Wrestling. Chris Bay is challenging Rich Swan, the Impact Wrestling World Title, and Chris Bay will be competing in the Super J Cup for New Japan Pro Wrestling. And he has the potential on on December twelfth to win the Super J Cup and become the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. So it could be a tr- tremendously big day for Chris Bay. Unfortunately, I don't think either of them are going to happen. And uh, I, I'm a big fan of Chris Bay, but I don't think he's going to get out of the first round in in the Super J Cup. And I don't think he's. I want him to win the title, but I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna defeat um, Rich Swan uh, for the Impact Wrestling World Championship. So could be a big day, but I, I don't think it's going to. Uh, it's going to happen for Chris Bay. But one thing I'm a little confused though. Uh, Chris Bay, New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup, uh, Impact Wrestling. I know they had said that they want to um, make amends with uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. So I'm thinking, why put? Final resolution on December 12th, the same day as the Super J Cup, that you have Rich Bay representing Impact Wrestling. TJP is there, but he's, he's not really signed with him, him, Impact Wrestling. So Chris Bay is really the, the real true representative of Impact Wrestling at the Super J Cup. So why, why, why not just show it December 13th? Why is it going to be December 12th? That's that, that was a little confusing. Granted, granted... Um, the Super J Cup actually starts at 10 p.m. EST, while Final Resolution does start at 8 p.m. EST. So there's a, there should be a one-hour overlap. So maybe people watching uh, Final Resolution, uh, once it's over, they can switch over to uh, the Super J Cup and still catch uh, Chris Bay in action. Uh, but I uh, just for, found it a little... Uh, a little strange. I don't know if that, that would make New Japan Pro Wrestling upset or, or, or not, but... Especially if you're trying to make amends with them, but um, hey, that's what's happening. And December twelfth, like I said, could be a tremendously big day for Chris Bay. All right, so <coughs> excuse me. Impact Wrestling has a number of. Com- oh, before I get into that, I just want to say to ev- everyone that uh, commented, there was a few, there were a few people that commented where I had indicated that uh, Jordan Grace and Jazz, there was no chance. In hell that they were going to lose to Killer Kelly and Renee Michelle. A number of people said I was wrong. They said Killer Kelly and Renee Michelle are going to win. I was right. I was right. I just wanted to point that out. I was right. Uh, Jordan Grace and Jazz move on in the Knockouts Tag Team Tournament. So, as I was saying, we there's a number of contracts coming up. Um, that are coming expiring in the first quarter for Impact Wrestling. Um, Moose, February tw- February 2021, his contract is expiring, and I'm getting this off the internet. I don't have any actual. I I this is not coming from Impact Wrestling. This is coming off internet. Um, so if I'm wrong, if I'm off base, I apologize. But I'm just reading what I read on the internet. Uh, Moose, February 2021. Talia Valkyrie, also 20 February 2021. Her contract's up. Ethan Page, the end of this year. And Rosemary, her contract is up February 2021. That's four huge names. That's four huge names there. You know, Ethan Page is kind of teasing that he may or may not be coming back. But uh, they cannot lose Moose, okay? Especially if, if, if this AEW Impact Wrestling partnership is in for the long haul, they can't lose Moose. They got to keep Moose. He's 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 their he's Mister Impact. He's their guy. He they cannot lose Moose. They have to resign Moose. Taya Valkyrie. I really really want them to resign as well, and I hope they do. People are saying that oh she's gonna want to go. With her husband in WWE, not necessarily. I mean, I, I I wouldn't want to work with my wife, right? I wouldn't want to work with my wife, and be around her all the time, you know. I mean, they tried an Impact Wrestling. Maybe it, it wasn't working out for them. And uh, who knows? Does, does Ty Valkyrie want to work with with um with her husband? Maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't. Who knows? But anyway, regardless, they need to re-sign uh, Ty Valkyrie. Rosemary is a lock. I don't think Rosemary will leave. She's very loyal. I think she she would stay with Impact Wrestling, and that's um, that's a, that's a big name there. I, I couldn't see her leaving. I don't see her leaving. And then you got Ethan Page, and uh, Ethan Page. I, I want to come back as well. I want them all to come back, uh, but 
there. They're kind of teasing Josh Alexander and Ethan Page splitting on Impact Wrestling. Uh, but now that this partnership with AEW is, is happening, who knows? Who knows where it's going to go? And um, bottom line is they, they got to sign at least, if, even if Ethan Page leaves, they have to re-sign Moose. I think he's the most important guy, uh, most important talent they need to bring back. Then, of course, Taya and Rosemary. And they 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 have to they can't let them go they can't let them go. they they don't have anybody that can replace them you know they 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 have to they have to bring these guys back they have to bring them all back and that's they have to bring them all back I want them all <laughs> I'm being I'm being uh I'm being um selfish here I want them all back I want them all back in Impact Wrestling I don't want them going anywhere I want them to stay I want them to stay uh so um Scott Demore Don Callis um. <laughs> roll out the money, roll out the money, and and pay these uh pay these four talents um what 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 they deserve you know don't let them leave. All right, well, wow, this was an exciting show, an exciting show. You know, AEW Impact Wrestling, the partnership has begun, baby. It's begun. Kenny Omega, don't forget, he's gonna be on Impact Wrestling with the AEW title this Tuesday. Impact on Access TV. Get ready, folks. Get ready, folks. This, this is going to be a wild, wild ride, man. All right. Well, that's it for me. My name is Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.